Hi, I'm Richard Spectreview, and I'm in Philadelphia right now. Yeah, I'm chilling. Long story short, after finding a friend who is kind enough to drive me to the airport, thank you, the big Dodden, and after making ugly faces to entertain myself because of the humor of a three-year-old kid, and after flying from daytime to nighttime, I finally arrived Philadelphia. The first thing that I said was, "I'm not entirely sure where I am." That's fine. I hope. Fortunately, after wandering around in the airport, I escaped from it. Ha 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 ha! Guess what's the second thing that I said? My friend Audrey told me Philly is just a little bit windy. It's freaking cold, my friend. Luckily, I quickly arrived at my hotel. But not only that, as a productive YouTuber. I also bought my dinner, a Philly cheesesteak. That was me trying to introduce the Philly cheesesteak. I was trying to tell you a Philly cheesesteak pun, but oh my god, it's so dry! So I decided to mute myself, cover my face with a Philly cheesesteak, and tell you a real good pun now. How do you properly eat a Philly cheesesteak? Very carefully. <laughs> anyway, I went to U Penn the next day. The buildings here were magnificent. It was a great combination of castle-like buildings and modern buildings. Hi, so I'm here on my way to find Audrey. I'm on my way to Warden. So my second goal is to spy in one of the class and see what's the difference between Kind and Flagler and Warden. <laughs> so after this transition, let's welcome. Audrey! Yes. Hi. Say hi to her, love. I'm so disappointed. About what? <laughs> that you, you're you invading my, my, my land. Alright, ignore <laughs> so her. Bye bye. To, so I'm supposed to be in class right now. Um, but then and he jacked me out. So I'm on class now, like here on Zoom. And we're gonna go get lunch. <laughs> yeah, we're the best students ever. Bye bye. Wait, wait. We got our food, passed through interesting places, and came to a room where only Wharton students can come in. And I started eating. Here comes the most important part invading into Audrey's favorite class. Like this! We're definitely not 30 minutes late. And I was definitely not distracting Audrey. And class dismissed. Seriously speaking though, it was an interesting class. Quite math heavy, but pretty applicable. Here's the proof that I was indeed in Warden along with my another friend, Ian. Didn't see him? He's here, and here, and here. Jokes aside, we're on our way to Ian's fancy dorm. He was warning us that his room might be messy. And I decided to show you a group picture and not leave any comment about his room. We chatted for a while but Ian was busy that day. So the next stop is Audrey's dorm. Just like Ian, Audrey was nervous. She wasn't sure if her room is clean. And it's better to change the topic. Wow, the weather is so nice. Anyway, time for dinner. Special thanks to Audrey for treating me to salmon kirashi, desserts, and I forgot what this was, but it was delicious. Hi, so today the weather is kind of less cold, and um, I'm wandering around Philadelphia by myself this morning, so I'm going to Chinatown. 
unfortunately, something happened. Hi. So, according to Google Map, it would take around four minutes from my hotel to Chinatown. So I timed myself for four minutes. However, since I have long legs, I walk slightly too far. So I'm now walking back and try to find where Chinatown is. And guess what? I've walked right back to my hotel, bruh. But that's fine. I later found an intriguing store. And I left. Because I was hungry. As fudge! I later had Chinese ramen as my lunch. I really wish this place would open in Chapel Hill too. Afterwards, I was enjoying the city vibe of Philly. And I found a gorgeous building. If I remember correctly, this is the City Hall of Philly. I went in and found the best singer in Philadelphia. And time to meet Audrey. We're on our way to Shafuso. It's a calming place to visit. We were there for three hours, mainly talking about high school. It was very nostalgic. This was me trying to film a video in which captures sun-kissed moments. Wasn't too bad, eh? Audrey had a dinner planned with someone else that night, but thank goodness. I have Ian! Oh, yeah. Special thanks to him for letting me try their dining hall's food. There was a huge variety of food, and overall the food wasn't bad. The food's low-key similar to UNC's dining hall food. But I need to point out something! This fluffy adorable food. Here's Ian's reaction after eating it. I thought he was overreacting, so I decided to try it myself. <laughs> so nuts. This evil thing is not mashed potatoes, it's mashed parsnips. I will never eat it again. We later gather with Audrey and play some games in Ian's dorm. And time for the last day. Yeah, I'm gonna go find Catherine now. This is Catherine, my third friend at UPenn. She brought me to a French bistro. We had a nice lunch and a great talk. Until a monster interrupted. But overall it's still a great experience and I was happy to see her. And it's time to find Audrey and Ian. We went to an interesting market and bought several interesting food. I may or may not have become a fat ass. Ian later enjoyed his last bit of childhood. So did Audrey. As for me, I'm the most mature one among them. Please don't punch me. We then went to historical sightseeings. We were gonna visit the Liberty Bell. And here comes the devil. It's very special. It's um, it's a bell. So we took a picture with it. It's time for my last dinner in Philly. I was lucky enough to meet Audrey and Ian's friends who are really nice people. Time flies and time to go back to Chapel Hill. But before this video ends, please allow me to say a few more words to both my UPenn friends and myself. Looking back, due to several reasons, I was not in a mentally and physically good condition last semester. This trip was a savior for me. I'm really thankful that you guys spent effort and time to host me. After meeting you guys, I finally regained passion and had the ability to overcome my last semester. I'm really glad that all of you 
are still the nice, optimistic, and hardworking people that I've known from high school. The future is still blurry for all of us, but I know for a fact that if we keep doing what we're doing and keep trying our best, our future will be bright. May we all achieve our dreams until next time.